of my mentality just in seventy. So, you know what's really irritating about people is uh, their selfishness. If you try to get a job, or you try to get employment or training, you try to get training in a certain trade or career or profession, they'll say, go back to school. And they'll tell you that for an hour, but they don't understand maybe you're not in school because you have a, uh, someone that has a disability or they can't deal with people in the classroom, like noise, noises. People do all kinds of irritating things in the classroom, you know, like pen clicking, gum chewing, and things that uh, idiosyncrasies is, 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 idiots do, and then they point the finger at you and flip it around and say, you're the jerk, you're the one that's causing uh, the troublemaker. The, the, main, the main point is, they'll, they'll say, I'm busy to teach you, I'm too busy to teach you. Well, if your brother is dying, your mother is dying, then, then would you be busy? I mean, that's an excuse, it's an impediment and hindrance, like I've always said. The other thing is, they had it hard when they started out in that uh, profession, that field uh, of whatever they're doing. So they're going to make the newbie guys uh, go through the same thing, make it hard for them. Uh, or uh, was the fourth thing is, they, they're going to uh, afraid that you're going to take their job away from them. And there's the, it's like, you know, I'm sick and tired of, you know, these haters or whatever you want to say, well, okay, that guy's a loser or this or that. No, it's society is always in a rush also. And society is to blame for all the, all the uh, problems we have in our society is we don't know how to treat other people. I've always said this. There's no a way to flip this around. You can't flip this around. It's the bottom line is how the conduct and behavior of people. If we don't, we not uh, a little bit more generous, and we're not even this generous. We're like below. We're like all the way in the bottom. You think the standard is is even even little, even normal? The standard there is no standard. It's below substandard. Substandard. This, there's another standard below substandard, and that's where we're at. Yeah, it, it, it's like the standard is not a normal standard. Um, I'm just uh, disgusted with uh, there's the be, there's a better way. There's a recourse. It's like they don't know that that person's been talking to 552 other people, and then you're next. You're you're number 553 to say the same crap to to that to them, and they don't want to hear it because that makes people lose all them all their motivation, all their initi almost all their initiative. It makes them jaded. It makes them down and pissed off. People. Try to get a job. They put they have your resume in their hand. Put the best foot forward, and then you can you can say all the, the little little uh, things you want to say. Well, that person has doom and gloom, and, or that person is uh, you know too negative. You can say all this junk. I am speakly, speaking on uh, solely the perspective of the employer, of the other person. That's the response of somebody trying to get employment with somebody else. I've heard it all. And I want to hear, I've already came to this conclusion and I want to hear it. All the comments are going to be off. Because I know what I'm talking about because I've gone through this with experience and I'm not just, I'm not talking about myself right now. I'm talking about how people are treating other people. When I look, observation, and how people are being treated Poorly. Oh, you have to know somebody, or you have to be, you know, whatever. You know, you got to be in a, a, you know, secret society. You know, and they, to get a, to get a certain job, you got to, you know, it's like if you're gonna act like what well, you know what you're talking about, research what you're talking about, and make sure you know what you're talking about. I'm not gonna tolerate any haters and BS. Because everything I'm saying is the truth. 
100%, 150%. The next thing I need to talk about is that uh, Eric Casebolt with uh, the police uh, shooting. And that's going to be on our next, uh, not shooting, but uh, the pool party. It's going to be on our next one. One thing I want to add to this uh, is training uh, and a skill set. When somebody wants training on a certain profession uh, and they're not able to get it because 1,058 people have told them uh, no and they don't, uh, the 1,059th person doesn't know that uh, the, the other 1,058 have said the same thing they can and they think they have and they think it's their job to lecture somebody for uh, five hours or two hours on how to go back to school and this they just either give it give an opportunity or don't you know people don't want to hear when you're in your 40s or 50s and you heard all the speeches they just want to get something done they don't want to have difficulty or, or have you make it a struggle for them to learn that's the problem with our society that's why you're just making your profession look bad by uh, your conduct. Is and then the the, uh, the uh, people that are younger, you know, that's you know they always say that's your future. When you grow old and you're an uh, old folks home, and who's gonna teach those uh, p teenagers or younger people? You know, the people younger. I don't even like that term, younger people. I think it's it's the, it's the belittling. Uh, demeaning, you know, uh, talking down to somebody like a second-class citizen. You want you want training. You should be able to freely get it. You know, oh well, nothing in life comes easy. Well, it shouldn't have to be a struggle. You know, if you need a skill, and if you don't teach somebody the skill, that no one is going to be able to do that job. It seems like you got to know a family member, or you have to have a close friend, or somebody. People are too stupid and selfish to pass along their skills to somebody else. And that's what really freaking pisses me off and bothers me about our society. Is that uh, people don't know how to be generous. And I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of seeing it on a daily basis with people. You know, I, I, I don't don't even get me started. You know, with this with these stupid little responses about how you got to have a positive attitude and all this stuff. You can have the best positive attitude in the world if somebody is, is too selfish to teach you. They won't. You know, there's just a lot more to say on this, and uh, it's not some two two word memo that's going to explain everything. And yes, all the comments of the, the disabled, because I'm tired of the stupidity and the ignorance and the haters and the bullies that have to freaking respond to these movies. And you try to teach them knowledge and wisdom, all they do is they don't get it. It goes in one ear and out the other. You know? It's not worth it. It's waste of my time. Waste of time. If you don't find value in knowledge and wisdom, you're the one with the problem. Being open-minded. Because I took the time, important enough, to teach you knowledge and wisdom and have empathy and knowing right and wrong. If you don't get it, then you don't, you're never going to get it. People, you can't change people. You can't make a project out of somebody. Like I've always said, once in a blue moon, they'll see the light in the air of their ways. This is the bottom line. There's no flipping it, no spin zone.